Hey guys, welcome to Photoshop. My guess is this is exciting, but also intimidating. And I want to make you feel comfortable with the software. In this video, first, we're going to customize the interface a little bit to make it a little cleaner. And then we're just going to learn how to walk around and move inside the image. So first off, there's a word that says essentials, and this is the workspaces. And we're just going to make a new workspace. So I'll call mine Matt and say save. And now that it says Matt up there, any changes I make are not permanent because I can switch back to the Essentials workspace and it'll just look like this again. So what I want to do is actually just drag these panels. You can see these are all little floating panels and just close them. Close all of them. There's one hiding here on the left. Close it too. And now we have nothing. We just have the document if you've opened up my shape map that's included below the video or you might have no document at all. The next thing I want to do just personally is to not make it so dark. So in Edit, Preferences, Interface, I'm going to change to the lightest color theme. And call me sentimental, but I used to have a white drafting table, and I just liked this sort of color palette. Again, this is total preference. But now that we're all clean and we don't have any of the clutter, let's bring back the stuff we do need. And in this video, the only one we're going to do is the Window Tools. So this is the Tools palette. And here's where we have things like the paintbrush, uh, the marching ants to make selections with. But really, right now, all I want to focus on is at the very bottom, there are these two little overlapping windows. And this switches between the full screen view modes. This is the one we're going to be spending the most time in. You can see we lost the panel here. We still have floating palettes, and we still have the menu up top, but there's no border on the image. If you were to hit another time, everything disappears. Don't worry, if you hit the F key, it will toggle through these. So you can just practice. F, F, F. Toggle right through them. I like this middle one here because what it allows me to do is to use what's called the hand tool, which I can find right down here, the hand tool, and I can drag around. So this is like I have a big desk and now I'm just moving the paper or the document around it. Cool. It gets even better. You can do that with the space bar. So no matter what tool you're using, here I'll use this marching ants tool. If I hold the space bar, I'm immediately moving the document around. I am panning. So you notice that I've drawn a little treasure map here. The only exercise or homework that I want you to do with this video is to practice going around this treasure map. And we're going to use two essential tools to do it. The first, as you've seen, is the space bar, the hand tool for moving around or panning. The other one is the magnifying glass. So if you click on the magnifying glass and then you drag either right or left, assuming scrubby zoom is checked, there's a little checkbox up here. If that's checked, left and right just allow you to zoom in and out very nicely. Well, remember, spacebar temporarily switches you to the hand tool. So I have the Z tool or the magnifying glass tool selected, hold down spacebar, and now I'm panning around following that treasure map. And then if I let go, I go right back to that magnifying glass. Or you can click on it on the toolbar, or you can hit the Z key, whatever you like. But either way, with these two keyboard shortcuts, Z for magnifier and spacebar for the hand tool, we can move around the document. So sometimes you'll want to zoom out a little, kind of reframe the image a little bit, but then you're back to the pan tool. So maybe I'll zoom in a bit here to follow this treasure map along. OK, so you think, no, this is easy. No problem. I got it. Well, then we're going to make one more level of difficulty, which is to hit the Tab key. And in doing so, we've hidden the interface. Well, this is where keyboard shortcuts become really awesome. I can't click on the toolbar anymore, but I can still switch between those tools because I know that Z is my magnifier and spacebar is my hand tool. So I can still navigate around the document without even thinking about it. The reason I introduced these first is not because they are exciting and it's not as cool as custom brushes or the stuff we'll get into later, but this is just the same as being able to walk away from your image at the desk or to move your face closer to the painting you're working on. These are things that in the real world we wouldn't even think about doing. It's just easy. But in Photoshop, getting comfortable with this 
allows you to just be comfortable when you paint, to be able to look at your entire image easily, to frame it up in your screen, or to zoom in to a specific part that you want. Switching back and forth between zoom and pan will make your life so much easier. So if you haven't yet, download my shape map below the post, hit the tab key to hide or reveal your interface, and try going around the treasure map. And if you haven't done it yet, I do encourage you to make your own workspace. I've called mine map, but you could call yours whatever you want. Because in the following videos, we're going to start bringing back extra windows. The toolbar is one we're going to use, but we're going to have extras. So if you have your own workspace, it's always going to look like this when you open the software. So have fun driving around your treasure map, get used to these keyboard shortcuts, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for coming to the site, guys.